Don't pick your skin, pick bandage. Hey guys, it's my face story here. Long time no talk. And today I am here to talk to you guys about my experience so far being vegan and basically I guess just why I chose to go vegan. This isn't scripted, I'm just gonna basically ramble on um, about my experience. So, so far I have noticed that I have increased energy levels. I have <laughs> kind of clearer skin. I feel like my skin tone looks more even. Um, but I have been breaking out more, which I guess is a negative. And I don't know, I just have like felt better that I'm not contributing to the kind of horrible impact that the meat industry has on the world and on our health. Um, basically, I have seen a lot of different YouTubers and other people who have claimed, you know, going vegan completely cleared their acne or going vegan help them with working out and endurance, going vegan help them in whichever way. So I wanted to test it for myself, which is what I'm doing now. Um, I did start being vegan with like completely clear skin and I have broken out, I would say, probably in about like four cysts and three whiteheads, which is pretty weird for me considering I was like completely clear, maybe like an odd spot around that time of the month. Um, so that's been a little bit discouraging, but the same thing did happen when I went like dairy free, so I don't know how worried I am really about that. I don't know. Um, I feel like I haven't had like the energy drop around like 2 or 3 p.m. that I used to get. I feel like my energy has been pretty consistent, but it'll go back and forth. Like some days I'll have a ton of energy and then other days I'll just feel like complete crap and like I can't think at all. So don't really know what's going on. Maybe my body's just trying to like balance itself out. Maybe my hormones are trying to level out. Maybe I'm like purging toxins and that's why it's coming out in the form of acne. Don't really know. I don't really know what is going on. I just watched um, a lot of documentaries and I kind of informed myself. Of course, I watched What the Health. Everyone watches like What the Health. Um, didn't really agree with the first half, but I thought the second half was pretty good. Anyways, <laughs> I watched What the Health and a bunch of other documentaries and it kind of just opened up my eyes to the negative impacts that the meat industry has not only you know on your health, on your skin, on your body, but on your community and on the environment. And if I do one day want to have kids, I want to be able to bring them in, into an environment where they don't have to worry about getting clean water and they don't have to worry about, you know, what they're gonna eat and those sorts of things, which are real issues that are already happening in America. I don't want to leave that kind of impact on the world. I'm kind of taking like a stance against it. I feel like when you say that you're vegan, you're taking a stance against animal cruelty and you're taking a stance against everything that the meat industry and the dairy industry stands for. I have been dairy free for a long time now. I've already been dairy free for like eight months. I did that a while ago and that really, really, really helped my skin. The first, I would say two months got way worse. Um, so again, that's like why I'm not really worried about my skin right now. It probably doesn't look too terrible, but I have been breaking out like around here. I had one here and then it like migrated itself. It just went doo -doo -doo, and then it was here and then it migrated itself here and then here and then here. So it's like all down here, which I feel like is hormonal. So I don't know if my hormones are out of whack or what's going on. Hopefully it's just a purge and then it's going to clear itself right on up. I feel like veganism is really important because it shows that you care about the world. It shows that you care about your community and that you want the best for them. And it shows that you care about your own health and your own family. And what I mean by that is a lot of people don't realize like the detrimental effects that it has on the world. The meat industry, I think it's like something like, I could be wrong, probably wrong. <laughs> 3,000 gallons of water for a hamburger, something insane like that. And you obviously save one animal's life, um, things like that. And I know a lot of people are going to probably say like, oh, it's natural to eat meat, but really it's not. Like, it's not natural to eat another living thing's flesh. The more you think about it, the weirder it actually is, <laughs> I think. Um, eating like dead animals, like I wouldn't eat my dog, you know, I would never eat my dog, so don't feel like I should be eating 
cows or chickens or pigs, you know, because they also have, this probably sounds <laughs> so weird, but they have thoughts and feelings. Like no animal wants its life to be ended. No animal wants to be crammed in such tight quarters and living on top of themselves and in so much pain because they can't move. Like that's no way to live a life. And we shouldn't put our needs first over animal needs and think that we're the best because in this world we all have to coexist together. We rely on animals and they rely on us. So we can't act like we're top dog and that means that we can just eat them because it is going to have negative impact on our world, for sure. I mean, it's already happened. It's already started, so. Just watching like all those videos really, really turned me off. I already wasn't eating beef or chicken. I feel like any chicken I've gotten recently has been like rubbery and weird, not recently, but before I was vegan. So it wasn't hard to cut that out. The only things I was really eating before I went vegan were like fish, like salmon and eggs, which I didn't even think were that bad for you, but they is, they is bad girl. I just want to see, you know, how it's going to impact me. My plan is, while I think it's amazing, I don't think veganism is for everyone. I think that certain people probably have certain diets where they're gonna thrive off of. Like many people might thrive off of a keto diet, many people might thrive off of a vegan diet, so forth and so on. Um, I think it really does depend on like your hormones, your stress level, your blood sugar. Like I think there's so many different things that factor into it and in that you should put so much pressure on yourself to be like the perfect vegan or like <laughs> the perfect keto, like no car or whatever. Um, I think life is like all about balance. So finding that good balance of like hormones and stress levels and those sorts of things. So I just want to see if veganism works for me. I know no dairy works for me like amazingly, but I'm like, you know what? What if I could kick it to the next level and then see if that is what my skin needs to just finally be clear. Who knows? We're gonna find out because this is a test. <laughs> so the plan is, the plan is three months being vegan. Um, and if my skin, cause I think it's a 28 day cycle for your skin cells to kind of like regenerate. If my skin hasn't improved by then and I'm still like pretty consistently getting cysts. I'm going to reintroduce my collagen peptides. I stopped drinking my collagen peptides because they do come from bovine, which is cow. And I didn't want anything to do with obviously any animals being hurt. So that is like why I stopped drinking my collagen peptides. But I have read some things on the internet and in journals saying that collagen peptides actually do help to balance your hormones. So after three months of veganism isn't working for me, I'm going to reintroduce collagen peptides and I'm going to do that for about two to three months, still no meat or dairy. And then at six months, if veganism still isn't working for me, I will probably reintroduce eggs and fish, sadly. Again, I don't really know what's going to happen. This is all kind of an experiment. I don't want anything to do with the meat industry. Like I don't think I'll ever go back to eating chicken or beef. I wasn't eating that before. It gets to a certain point where it's like, what's more important? Like your personal well being and health or the animals? Because if I get to a certain point where I'm consistently breaking out and it's making me mentally upset or like mentally unfit, I guess, then is it really worth it to keep continuing on that diet? Those are the kind of questions, you know, that you have to ask yourself and that you have to kind of realize it's not gonna work for everyone. I'm hoping it works for me. I'm staying positive. Cause yeah, this did happen when I cut out dairy, so. Could be the same thing. Hopefully it's just the same thing. Maybe I should give a recap. Let's recap the positives and the negatives. Like, okay. Positive experience of going vegan so far. More even skin tone besides the acnes. No 2 p.m., 3 p.m. crashes. I haven't had like crazy blood sugar, like hangry cravings. Whereas now, positively, I feel like I don't get those crazy blood sugar like highs and lows. I will just steadily get hungry, which is awesome. So now for the negatives. Negatively, I feel like I've been really tired and I have been taking B12 and I've been taking daily multivitamins and everything you're supposed to get. I'm getting all my nutrients. It's not that. I just felt like really tired some days and then really energetic other days. Um, so maybe it's just my body trying to balance itself out. Don't really know. 
Second one, because of my tiredness, I feel like I can't think as clearly. I have like all these thoughts going on in my head and I feel like I need to get them organized, but no matter how many times I think about it or write it down, like I can't get them in a straight order, which is a little bit freaky, but it could also be, you know, new job, school, uh, graduation stuff. So it could be stress as well. And then the third thing is, like I said, I've been consistently breaking out, which is no bueno. Um, but happened to me when I went dairy free, so going to assume it's purging or my body trying to get that crap out and hopefully it'll go back to normal in like three months is like what I'm getting at. So that is my experience being vegan so far, why I went vegan. Sorry if this video is kind of like crazy all over the place, but that's how I am. <laughs> so deal with it. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram if you want to see my acne progress going through the natural route, dairy-free, soy-free, trying to heal acne internally as well as emotionally. Check that out on my Instagram, it's my face story, and until next time, bye. There's a